Hello. Today I want to talk about a couple of ways to recover some errors in uh, in our parts. Um, oftentimes we'll we'll build a part or, or perhaps come into an older part and we'll see that it has some errors and we can kind of look to see what those are. It looks like um, there's an invalid access on sketch 7 here and, and uh, looks like a rib modeling failure on rib 3 and I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that um, we look at rib 3 and we can kind of see that's um, that's there but there's something going on with it it doesn't have the geometry it needs and as we come through and we look at some of these other options here um, some of the possibilities we can see a circular pattern and it looks like there's uh, there's a missing occurrence here and that uh, that appears to be the first occur occurrence um, as we look through this and let's see here if we uh, if we edit that sketch we can kind of see that this uh, this circle actually comes through and, and it looks like that extrusion takes that occurrence out so I'm gonna go ahead and finish that sketch and let's start by just suppressing that feature and look at that that went ahead and fixed um, fixed a couple of these another thing we can do we notice that uh, that rib 2 is still out we can grab that into part marker and begin to slide that up in the uh, in the browser here and just go back in time and kind of look at what uh, what our issues are um, we see this and we can see this uh, this sketch here we still have our our red cross and and uh, our design doctor kind of lets us know that's an invalid uh, sketch origin so the way to fix those is to right click on that sketch select redefine and you want to pick an edge that you want that uh, that sketch to be on so we'll start here and that seems to have resolved this issue um, sometimes those will flip sides whatever they'll uh, they'll turn things around um, so you might have to make some adjustments in the actual sketch itself in this case it seemed to work out pretty good and then we can drag that end of part marker back down and um, and we can see here real quick that uh, that our part is back together um, does appear that that extrusion is is uh, not not needed so we can go ahead and delete that extrusion and clear some things up there Hopefully that gives you a little bit of information the next time you have some trouble in a part. Thank you very much.